Okay, hello and welcome back everyone. Today I'm Kevin with Kevin MC, and what I have here is this Koa. Um, what you call? What's this thing called? Let's turn on lights for a while. Now the lights are on. This thing is a Koa Super Rominar, 63.5 mil f. To point, I mean 1.9 so this thing somebody sent over here to for me to convert and what I've done with this conversion is pretty simple so make, made a small helicon with this he wants this thing in EOS M mount but he also says that he wants to one day transfer over to the Sony E mount so I made this coupling in the back which then can be what you call this thing taken off and swapped over with the proper Sony mount so now this thing is gonna have this EOS mount, which is a body cap essentially. This thing I shall be using for the flanges, these three over here, yeah. And this thing is gonna go in here. This is like the locking bit of the lens. This shall like slot into there later, yeah. So this will then slot into here, like this. And I've calculated this thing so it has about enough space to get exactly onto infinity. <clears throat> So then, next you have this lens, which is, let's see, because I really can't see what's in focus and what's not in focus. Let's flip the screen up. Lucky I have this new 6400. I can actually flip the screen up. So yeah, this is the new adapter thing. Yeah, I, I supposed to have this, like a small helicoid in this thing. But things that the helicoid actually didn't go well. And and I had to like sand that thing all out. So I'm, leaving, I'm left with this. And I put locking bolts so this thing's a locking bolt this thing is a locking bolt this thing's empty because I stripped the thread so yeah um, it will lock in but it's missing one bolt then this thing is for the helicoid because my original plan didn't work and so I'm gonna cover this M4 by by 5 bolt with some super glue so it doesn't make this like horrible noise at least it's gonna dampen the noise a bit because this is the noise it makes. See? So it does focus pretty smooth, you see? Okay, and this thing falls out directly though. So this is the stopper mechanism I've got. So it's a small screw which I'm gonna screw into the lens once this thing's in. So once the helicoid's in this far, you can screw this thing in. And when this thing right here hits the hits this point this screw is gonna stop it, so it's gonna only focus up to this bit right here. See? So then, next I'm also gonna give some, um, what you call this thing, grease, so that this sound is gonna like go down a bit more. And also, this has some aperture discs, so this thing I've printed to like fit near perfectly without sanding at all. So these things can just, this is like the F, I don't know, I think F11, F8 ring. Just slots in right here. Slot in and drop it in. There you go. And you do not need nails. You can just flick this thing out like this. And my nails are like, I don't know, 1 mil long, 1.5 mil long. So they're not especially long. And this thing's like the F, I don't know, 2.8 maybe ring. So it goes in like that, yeah. Then that's more or less it. Let's show you how this locking thing works. So first I'm gonna get some piece. Wait for what? So this is the crease. Ah, let's open this can up. Then once you open the can up, go use this swab thingy. Take my crease and put it all in the threads. I can put a bit much of the crease in because it's going to go into these holes which I designed into the model. And this hopefully will suck up all the excess crease that comes out. <clears throat> Then let's focus back in. That's pretty much in focus, so let's push this thing in here. But quite a lot, so the noise actually dampens out, because if I don't put that much, then I might not have a smooth enough lens. So I'm putting really quite a lot in there. Also to like dampen the focusing, because this thing's pretty heavy. I'm actually using this stuff. So, let's go 
something new with putting a ton of crease in here usually this would be called too much but because this thing's a custom build there's no such thing as too much because there are these pockets right here so let's push this stuff in I mean I haven't tried this this pocket what you call this thing crease suction pocket thingy in any other lenses but hopefully this works because in theory it will work but as you know lens crease usually goes in, in the most unwanted spaces so I'm not really that um, sure about it so now let's just continue with this looping oh yeah then I have to like coat the thing in super glue so I'm gonna coat, coat that thing first while I coat it um, you can I'm just gonna pause the video for a while until this thing solid and I can actually drop it in so yeah wait for a while okay welcome back and I'm gonna show you where I left off with the I mean, I'm gonna continue where I left off with the Koa 63.5 mil f 1.9 so this let me focus in so that I'm using a shittier tripod because my main photo is in the front and I can't be bothered to like, take it so this is where I'm going by now so okay now this is the lens itself and what I've done since the last one is I've looped this thing fully and it's now fully looped with crease then oh should I just touch it then so now as you can see this thing focuses properly smoothly it's pretty light although it does make sounds because I did not decide the helicoid properly and um essentially this thing has like a helicoid that's a bit too big so I couldn't like sand down the sides with the helicoid itself so that is not gonna be the best but at least it works and actually it works pretty good it's dampened enough from the crease because it's like a lot of the what you call this thing because it has a lot of surface area so it's not gonna be like this thing where you only have bare surface area but this thing's smooth because it's only like only like using these smooth threads right there see while that's on this thing I 3d printed the threads and I could not sand them down so you have this sound focusing normally don't really have that sound but it sounds like a kit lens focusing to be honest so yeah that's pretty much the lens itself and for the stopper mechanism as you know I put a bolt on the side of this thing it has these holes in there which I put which are M4 holes okay, which take these M4 like grub screws let me go show you these things right here and so that's essentially the focus rail I mean the focus pin and this is the focus rail the inside of this thing so unlike the Leica Hector that I made in Tanko let's try focusing it again so this thing has a focus rail on the inside whereas you have this focus pin or focus guide some might say on the outside this thing has also one screw on the front which is visible let me go show you this let me try and see if I'm in focus that is over here that should be in focus so now this is the screw this is actually to hit the grub screw when it reaches the top so this essentially acts as a stopper such that this thing does not fall out like if you see the Leica Hector P2 that I have when you screw it out fully it'll fall out see now that is smooth but it does fall out with this small grub screw on the edge because I have the helicoid essentially what you call this thing essentially made into the lens housing I mean the other housing I can do this and not worry about it falling out see and I take the whole thing apart just take this thing out slide the whole thing out take two screws on the sides out slide the lens from the from the housing thing in here then tinge mounts you have these four bolts 
which then I put this is the EOS M mount and I also have made a flange on this thing such that it can like lock in and if you want to change it to like E what you call this thing Fuji X Sony E mount you can just do that easily only you need to like remachine this adapter on the back so yeah thanks for watching hope you like this thing I'm gonna soon do a video on the Leica Elm run the guy sent me and that's gonna have this pretty much the same um, principle as this only thing is that I think I might put some like a double helicoid so cause that thing has like the front the front has this let me go show you actually it's like right under the camera so sorry if you're only seeing my head so this thing has a double helicoid so I mean it's gonna have a double helicoid not it does not have one yet so let me see if it's in focus there you go about that I can see so as you can see this thing has a helicoid inside like this <clears throat> which goes for about 1.25 revolutions until it gets up to here so I think a good plan of action is to like find a way to like lock this thing in place and have the back move and then also have a way to like release the locking bit right here and allow this thing to turn because this thing is gonna have way smoother action than this because this is 3D printed and because it's an inner helicoid I can't really put any tool in there to like machine it down to make it flat so yeah thanks for watching hope you liked it subscribe like if you want to if you don't then I'm not gonna force you obviously um yeah thank you and goodbye